pelican eel, the stretch-mouthed enigma. Some creatures look like mistakes that evolution didn't have the heart to delete. The pelican eel is one of them. Its mouth is absurdly oversized, a loose, expandable pouch that can open wider than its own body. It uses this to scoop up fish, squid, or unlucky crustaceans floating through the darkness. When the mouth closes, it shrinks down like a folded umbrella, leaving behind a body thinner than a wire. The pelican eel lives at depths of 1,000 to 3,000 meters, where light doesn't exist. Its tail glows pink, tipped with a bioluminescent lure that flashes to attract prey, or maybe to confuse predators. Its jaw is so flexible that scientists still aren't sure how it swallows without imploding. It's like a pelican crossed with a horror movie prop. It doesn't hunt often. It just waits, unblinking, for something to wander close. The deep sea doesn't need monsters. It builds them by accident. Anglerfish, the demon with a light bulb. In the black void of the deep sea, where sunlight dies and nightmares thrive, there drifts the anglerfish, a creature that looks like evolution took a wrong turn and decided to keep going. This fish, found over 2,000 meters deep, has a glowing lure growing straight out of its head, a biological fishing rod tipped with bacteria that emit light through a chemical reaction called bioluminescence. The trick? That glowing bulb attracts prey, small fish, squid, or anything foolish enough to investigate. One flicker, one gulp, gone. Its jaws can unhinge wide enough to swallow prey half its size, and its body expands like a balloon. It doesn't need elegance, just patience and appetite. And then there's its love life. When a male finds a female, he bites her permanently. Over time, he fuses into her body, dissolving until only his testes remain. She carries him for life, using him as an organic sperm bank. It's romantic in the most horrifying way imaginable. The anglerfish is proof that nature's creativity peaks when there's no sunlight and no witnesses. All right, I will be posting more videos here. So slam that like button, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. This helps us to rank better in the YouTube algorithm. Frilled shark, the living fossil from hell. If dinosaurs had nightmares, they dream of the frilled shark. This deep sea predator hasn't changed in over 80 million years, earning it the title Living Fossil. It slithers through the darkness like an eel, with rows of 300 backward facing teeth designed to trap prey in a one way ticket to digestion. Its mouth stretches across its entire head, and its body is lined with ancient frilled gills that look like shredded velvet. It moves with slow, serpentine grace until it strikes. Living as deep as 1,500 meters, the frilled shark feeds on squid and fish, ambushing from below. It doesn't chase, it waits, then lunges forward, wrapping its flexible body around victims like a constricting snake. Its reproductive cycle is equally disturbing, a gestation period lasting up to 3.5 years the longest of any vertebrate. That's dedication or punishment. When one was caught on camera off Japan, people thought it was a sea serpent. They weren't wrong. The frilled shark isn't a monster becoming extinct. It's one that never left. Vampire squid, the bloodless bloodsucker. Don't let the name fool you. The vampire squid doesn't drink blood. It's weirder than that, living nearly 900 meters below the surface. This small cephalopod looks like a gothic nightmare. Deep red skin, glowing blue eyes, and a web of tentacles that form a cloak-like membrane. When threatened, it flips that cloak inside out, revealing rows of fleshy spikes. Instead of hunting live prey, it survives on marine snow, a polite name for the constant drizzle of dead plankton, feces, and decomposing goo that falls from above. It gathers it using sticky filaments, rolls it into mucus balls, and eats it. Yes, the vampire squid is an eternal scavenger, feeding on death itself. It's perfectly adapted to low oxygen levels that would kill almost any other animal. Its metabolism is so slow 
it's basically a ghost. Its name, Vampira Tuthis Infernalis, means vampire squid from hell. Scientists weren't exaggerating. It's elegant, it's disgusting, and it's a reminder that survival doesn't always look heroic. Sometimes, it just looks weird. Giant isopod, the deep sea cockroach. Imagine a cockroach. Now imagine it's the size of your dog. Meet the giant isopod, a crustacean that lives in the cold, crushing depths of the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans and looks like a nightmare pill bug. It grows up to 50 centimeters long, armored like a medieval tank, with dozens of legs that click and twitch across the seafloor. It feeds on dead whales, fish carcasses, and anything else unfortunate enough to sink. In short, it's a garbage collector of the abyss. Giant isopods can survive years without eating, conserving energy in near-freezing darkness. When food finally arrives, they gorge themselves until they can barely move. They're the vacuum cleaners of the deep. Slow, creepy, and completely necessary, some scientists think their oversized form is due to deep-sea gigantism, where cold, high-pressure environments make creatures grow absurdly large. If aliens ever send scouts to Earth, they'll see these first, and probably decide to leave us alone. Sea Angels, the beautiful cannibals. At first glance, sea angels look angelic, translucent, glowing creatures that flutter through Arctic waters like spirits. But don't be fooled, these angels are predators. They're actually a type of sea slug, about the size of your thumb, with wing-like fins they use to fly through the water. Their beauty hides a brutal lifestyle. Sea angels feed on sea butterflies, their close relatives. When they find one, they grab it with hooks, rip open its shell, and consume it alive. They have no shells themselves, just gelatinous, glowing flesh. Their ethereal transparency makes them look like ghosts, illuminated from within. During mating season, they perform what looks like a ballet, two angels entwined in spirals of bioluminescent light, romantic until one realizes they might also eat each other. Sea angels are a reminder that beauty and brutality often share the same body, especially in the ocean, where everything is both delicate and deadly. Mariana Snailfish, the champion of pressure. At the bottom of the world's deepest trench, nearly 11,000 meters down, lives a creature so fragile it looks like jelly. And yet it thrives where steel implodes. The Mariana Snailfish holds the record as the deepest living fish ever found. Its body is translucent and boneless, designed to survive pressures over 1,000 times greater than at sea level. Instead of scales, it's wrapped in a thin membrane that flexes rather than breaks. Its secret weapon? Chemistry. The snailfish's cells produce special molecules that prevent proteins from collapsing under pressure. Nature's anti-crush technology. It feeds on tiny crustaceans and worms drifting along the seafloor, using suction to gulp them down. Its soft, baby-like face hides a world-class survivor. No light. No heat, no hope, and still, the snailfish lives. It's the ultimate reminder that even in the harshest corners of the earth, life refuses to quit. Bobbit Worm, the Sand Assassin. If you're squeamish, skip this one. The Bobbit Worm is a three meter long ambush predator that lives buried in the seafloor. Only its jaws, sharp, metallic, and lightning fast, stick out. When prey swims by, it strikes upward, slicing fish clean in half. Its jaws snap shut at speeds faster than a bullet, generating enough force to split coral. And unlike most worms, it doesn't inject venom. It just waits for you to bleed out. Its name comes from a 1990s scandal involving a knife and some revenge, which tells you everything about its personality. It glows with faint bioluminescence, luring fish close before turning the ocean floor into a crime scene. Divers sometimes stumble upon them while night diving, and those who do never forget. In the abyss, patience is a weapon. The bobbit worm mastered it millions of years ago. Sea cucumber, 
the gut launcher. You'd never expect a creature shaped like a squishy sausage to have one of the most grotesque defense systems in nature. When threatened, the sea cucumber vomits its own organs, ejecting sticky, toxic guts into the water to entangle predators. The expelled organs eventually regrow, like something out of a horror movie on repeat. These creatures crawl along the ocean floor, filtering sand for nutrients, cleaning up the deep like living vacuum cleaners. They breathe through their anus, and some species even let tiny fish live inside their rectum for protection. Yes, really, despite their weirdness, sea cucumbers play a critical role in recycling ocean nutrients. Without them, much of the seafloor would suffocate in waste. They might look harmless, but they've turned intestines into weapons, which feels like the perfect metaphor for life in the deep sea. Viperfish, the jaws of the abyss. The viperfish looks like a creature designed by someone who hates sleep. Its fangs are so long they don't fit inside its mouth. They fold backward into grooves in its skull. Its face is a skeletal grin of bioluminescent horror, glowing in pulses to lure victims. Living up to 4,000 meters down, the viperfish ambushes prey using a built-in lure on its dorsal spine, like a discount anglerfish. When something approaches, it lunges with explosive speed, impaling victims on its teeth and swallowing them whole. Its stomach can expand to fit meals nearly its own size, allowing it to eat rarely but catastrophically. Its glowing body patterns also act like camouflage, blending with the faint light above to make it invisible from below. Every part of the viperfish screams, predator, and yet, it's only 30 centimeters long. Proof that you don't need size to be terrifying, just commitment. Sea pig, the pink crawling blob. Somewhere in the pitch black depths of the abyss, a pink blob with legs crawls slowly through the silt. Meet the sea pig, a distant relative of sea cucumbers, and arguably the cutest horror you'll ever meet. It lives at depths of over 6,000 meters, using tube-like legs to shuffle through the muck in search of decaying matter. It feeds by absorbing nutrients directly through its skin. No mouth needed. Sea pigs often gather in herds, thousands moving across the ocean floor like a slow, gelatinous migration. Scientists once described them as the cows of the abyss. But don't let the name fool you. Sea pigs are survivors. They can sense chemical cues from dead animals kilometers away and travel for days to reach them. And like their relatives, they're mildly toxic, just enough to make predators regret snacking on them. They're adorable, unsettling, and a perfect reminder that cute can exist anywhere, even where light doesn't. Giant Sea Spider, the Creeping Skeleton If you've ever wanted to see a spider from your worst dreams, underwater, meet the giant sea spider. Despite the name, it's not a true spider, but a distant arthropod relative. Its body is tiny, but its legs can stretch over 50 centimeters long. They're hollow, filled with organs and blood, because the body's too small to hold them. Found in Antarctic waters, they move slowly through the dark, using a straw-like mouth to suck the juices from worms and sponges. Their slow, deliberate motion makes them look like skeletons in slow motion. They don't have lungs or gills. Oxygen just diffuses through their exoskeleton. The colder the water, the bigger they get, which is why Antarctica has the largest ones. They're silent, efficient, and creepy in the most clinical way possible. Nature's underwater horror props. Japanese spider crab, the giant of the deep. If the ocean had a final boss, it would be the Japanese spider crab. With a leg span of up to 4 meters, this crustacean is the largest arthropod on Earth. Its orange armored body sits atop legs like spindly scaffolding, perfectly evolved for walking across the abyssal plains. It lives at depths of 500 meters, scavenging for carcasses and detritus. Its claws can snap bone and pry open shells with ease. Despite its monstrous appearance, it's surprisingly gentle, moving slowly even delicately, but its size alone is enough to trigger primal terror. 
It can live over 100 years, growing stronger and creepier with age. When divers encounter one, the crab often freezes, its massive limbs swaying gently in the current, like a nightmare frozen in time. The Japanese spider crab is proof that the deep sea doesn't need imagination. It already wrote the best horror story possible, and it walks on eight legs. If you've watched to this point, slam that like button, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. This helps us to rank better in the YouTube algorithm.